state to another, we have an increasing number of parents across the country that continue to speak up against critical race theory being taught to our kids. The nation's largest teachers union is vowing to combat those who oppose teaching critical race theory in schools. The National Education Association last week passed a resolution that claims including CRT in the curriculum is reasonable and appropriate and is spending thousands of dollars to help teachers fight back groups, and I will say parents, that are critical of the controversial theory. One of the business items from the union's assembly last week reads, quote, the attacks on anti-racist teachers are increasing, coordinated by well-funded organizations such as the Heritage Foundation. We need to be better prepared to respond to these attacks so that our members can continue this important work. Joining us now, senior fellow for the Heritage Foundation and the author of The Plot to Change America, Mike Gonzalez. Mike, thanks for joining us. Mercedes, it's so good to see you. Rob, get to, got to know you. To That's an you. outright lie. We don't coordinate this. The demand is huge. Everywhere I go, I keep crisscrossing the country. 650 people showed up in Waukesha, Wisconsin, to talk about critical race theory. The, the organizers had to get a, a, another room to handle the, uh, the, the overflow crowd. 300 people in Loudoun County. This is the, the American people are finally seeing what is being done and they're saying basta, enough. We're not, we're not going along with this. Yeah, the national yeah, education, I, I re- go ahead, Mercedes, go ahead. Go ahead, Rob. Okay, I'll One go. Of yeah. you go. <laughs> well, I'll go. The <laughs> National Education Association is spending, how much are they spending to smear the Heritage Foundation and on all these parents, like you said, that are opposed to CRT? Well, I'm glad that you said that because it is, yeah. at the last time we, set, we checked, it was $59,000, which is really a couple of Zoom meetings with Ibram X. Kendi, but it can do a lot of, you know, <laughs> a lot of damage if you're talking the real economy. But look, um, what they're, they're using us. They're really mad at the parents. This is parent-led. People have had it up to their back teeth with their te- children being put through um, uh, child abuse in schools or, or, or having themselves have to go through workplace harassment. This is something that has happened. CRT, by the way, I could talk to you about it for hours. I'm sure this being television, you don't want me to do this. But the basic premise is that we live in a country that is ordered by oppression, that we live under systems of oppression. Mm-hmm. Rob, I thought what you said in the last segment was very good. These are people who have never traveled anywhere. I, I have lived in seven different countries all over the world because I was a foreign correspondent. And as Mercedes knows, I was born in where her father was born, Cuba. I've known repression. This is, it's, it's imperfect. America's imperfect. But this is the last best hope for man on earth. The fact that they want to change it is all we need to know that we need to combat critical race theory. So, Mike, you bring up a great point, which is the fact that this is parent-led. It's an organic movement. This is something we haven't seen in a very long time here in the United States. But there's also teachers who oppose critical race theory, and they want to protect themselves. But, of course, they're shackled by these unions. What can we do to help these teachers uh, from having them push the critical race theory onto these students and indoctrinate our students? Well, I think the laws that are being passed by the different states are a great idea. Not all of them are perfect. Uh, You know, we have 50 laboratories of of experiment. Um, uh, A lot of them just say ban the implementation, not the teaching of CRT, which is all that's really being done, right? Nobody is assigning uh, 6,000 word essays by Derek Bell or Kimberly Crenshaw to third graders. What they're doing is they're implementing the, the, the premises, the bedrock principles of CRT, which are discriminatory, which violate Title VI of the Civil Rights Act, which violate the Constitution, especially uh, the 14th Amendment, equal protection under the law. All the, all the legislators are doing in the different state capitals is saying, we are officers of the government. We're going to stop the violation of the law. So anything that can be done along those, uh, and parents need to parents need to go to uh, school board meetings. They need to lose their fear. Yes. They need to have moral courage. They need to speak to their teachers. I do. They need to speak up at, at school board meetings and say, no, 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 no. You're not going to do this. I'm very upset that you're doing this. 
Very well said. Very well said. Mike Gonzalez with the Heritage Foundation. Sir, thank you so much for coming on. Good to see you. Thank you very much for having me. All Bye. Right. Coming up. Thanks for watching the Heritage Foundation's YouTube channel. With more than half a million members, we are the nation's largest conservative research and education institution. We believe the principles and ideas of the American founding are worth conserving and renewing. Please help us further our mission by subscribing to this channel and sharing our videos with your family and friends.